Om in Luxor in Arnhem. Hier is eerst Chris Isaac Live met zijn laatste single Can Do a Thing to Stop Me Now. Chris. Can do a thing to stop me now. Can do a thing to stop me now. Here I go again. Dreaming. Here I go again. Zag Chris Isaac en Can Do A Thing To Stop Me. Het nummer komt van zijn nieuwste album San Francisco Days. Hoe is dat album ontstaan? We worked on it pretty steady for about a year. But you know, in the same time that I was working on the record, I was also uh, remodeling my bathroom and I put all new linoleum in the kitchen. So I was working on my house too. So you know, I was working on the house, working on the record. You know, <laughs> while I'm recording, I'm also I just always keep writing and. You know, you usually get a couple of things done during the time. I don't do it. I don't write when I'm in the studio. I mean, don't actually go in there with a the guitar and write. That costs too much money. Time's too expensive. Usually, I write laying in bed, or else sometimes I write laying on the couch, watching TV with the sound off, or I sit on the back porch and look out at the ocean. It's funny how different people have different ideas what that's about. Because when we made a video. I talked to somebody and they said, oh, I imagine that you should do this song in a bar with strippers. And I said, it's not at all what it's about. It's about a guy who's dreaming about a girl who he's in love with and she's not there. And all he's telling her is, I'm, 
you know, I miss you, I'm thinking about you, and uh, even though you're not here, you can't stop me from dreaming about you. So it's, to me, it's just a love song. <laughs> to me, just like every time you had any kind of success, it was just the hope that you got to make another record, you know? I mean, the last time people asked me, oh, Wicked Game was a hit, are you, was that more pressure? If anything, it was easier because I got re-signed by my record company and they, you know, they said, oh, you had a hit? And they gave me another like five years or, you know, a bunch of records to make. So that was good news. Well, in the year after the release, it didn't change it much. I really did about the same thing. I went on tour. I was on tour in a bus with a bunch of guys when it became a hit and I just stayed on tour. I just kept living on the bus. But not really anything changed since, since that. I mean, I didn't move, and I got the same house, same car, and working with the same people pretty much. And, you know, more work, that was about it. Uh, every, time, every time I talk to some guy, they come up to me and say, I loved your video. Who was the girl? <laughs> it's like I say, hey, I'm in the video too, you know. Helena Christensen, OK? <laughs> Call it artistic. Um, really just something an artistic vision that we had but I said you know this song I imagine myself in a very beautiful semi-naked woman on a beach rolling around it was a concept that I I've always wanted to do and uh, I had tried to get girls to do that before but it works better when you have a camera you know you can since September I've been uh, home about probably 10 days I've been in Kathmandu I've been in Bhutan, living in a monastery with Tibetan monks. I shot every day. I was in Seattle for a couple months. And then I've been back and making a video, and then I came directly to Europe for promotion. So this year, I've spent more time with the monks than with the women. Behalve muzikant is Chris de laatste jaren ook actief als filmacteur. Hoe ging dat in zijn werk? Really, they, gave, they got in touch with me. I mean, people called me up, and I, Jonathan Demme I met uh, for Silence of the Lambs and Married to the Mob. Both movies, he just called me and said, I have a part, do you want to play this part? I wish, uh, I guess everybody wishes it was that easy. You just stay home and wait for the phone to ring, but I really was, it was that kind of lucky for me. Yeah, I mean, anybody who watches TV, I mean, whether you're any good at, as an actor or not, everybody watches TV and they see people and they, you say, oh, I could do that. And you imagine that they make a lot of money and you think, that looks easy. I'll kiss the girl, pay me, you know. Some parts are, are as easy, you know. I mean, I, I don't think it's easy to be great, but it's easy to, to go and do an okay job. Some parts are more difficult and it's embarrassing when you're bad. Lucky, because every time I've done a film, I've had a director who's better than I am. I mean, they're a lot better. Their directors are way better directors than I am an actor. I mean, Jonathan Demme's a great director, David Lynch, and Bernardo Bertolucci. So, I have it easy. I just listen to them. I do what they tell me. When I make the record, I, I work on it every day. I'm at the studio. I write it. I work on every part of it. But... When you're making a film, you're only one part of a lot of people working on it. So when they're editing that film, they're not going to call me and say, Chris, what do you think? You know? I love you. I still want you. I still need you. Don't hang up and say goodbye. Go 
I still love you I still want you I still need you Don't hang up and say goodbye yes, I'm walking down on Market Street And feeling my heart skip a beat To see someone that looks like you I guess that I'm not through dreaming of the one I love San Francisco day, San Francisco night I'm headed for that golden gate I'm hoping I won't be too late To find the one that I still love To you I'm dreaming of San Francisco day, San Francisco night San Francisco day, San Francisco night San Francisco day, San Francisco night San Francisco San Francisco San Francisco